how can light have momentum if it has no mass? Is there a problem in the equation of momentum? There is P equals mv. Well, light has momentum and we get this from very basic quantum mechanics. So let me, I hope you're not very scared of math because let, I'm going to show you some math. Hang on, let one second. It's a very simple derivation. Let me, okay, let's remove this. All right, here we are. So do photons and momentum. So we know that from Einstein's uh, famous equation, E equals mc squared, if you can... See the equation number one here, E equals mc squared. So uh, mass is equivalent to energy, energy is equivalent to mass. Now in case of a photon, which is light, we know that it has no mass, but it has a frequency. And the relationship between frequency and energy is E equals hf, where h is the Planck constant. So the frequency tells you what energy the photon has. Now we know that hf equals mc squared by combining these two equations, equations one and, two, 1 and 2. So we get this relationship, hf equals mc squared. You rearrange that, you get m equals hf by c squared. So the photon has a relativistic mass of sorts, an equivalent mass, which is given by h, Planck constant, multiplied by the frequency of the photon, divided by the square root of the speed of light, uh, by the square of the speed of light. Now, as you said, the equation of momentum in classical physics is p equals mv, where v is the velocity of the particle. In the case of the photon, v, the spe speed or velocity, is the speed of light. So we put v equals c, and by combining these equations, we get p equals hf by c. But in quantum mechanics, we know that the frequency is equal to the speed of light divided by the wavelength of the photon. And by putting all that together, we get this relationship, the equation 9, which is p equals h over lambda, which means that the momentum of a photon is equal to the Planck constant divided by the wavelength of the photon. And this is why, this is how we know that photons have momentum. And this is experimentally observed. So that is a very simple, straightforward derivation of the momentum of a photon. It's a simplistic derivation, but it, I think it illustrates very well why photons have momentum. So there is no problem in any equation of momentum, of momentum, etc.